just wanted to put the recording on just for you to hear this. There is something very, very scary nearby. Let's see if I can find it. I might be in the right direction here. Eesh. It's like my stomach when I'm hungry. now. I've been getting a lot of materials by the way. Yeesh! That is loud. Get some extra torches here. It, oh, I don't know. It's a new one. These uh, divine RPG orbs actually have uh, interesting things. Oh, I found the place. Now, how scary is this? That's it? What is that? The Gru. That looks horrible. Uh, can I get... Oh wow. I'm happy it can't fit in. Controlled! Uh, what is that? Tramnix! I'm getting the feeling that I don't want to get hit by these things. The health. 80 health. Ooh, diamonds. Well then. I mean, I already had diamonds, but now we have all the rest of the diamonds I need. Ooh, hello. These are familiar. No witches today. Yes, I guess I can take all of that. There's the cows I'm needing. These cows have no skins. Hey guys, and welcome back to Divine Journey. It's a brand new day. I need some off-camera adventuring, not much. You actually will see the highlights of that uh, even before this one. So I found all the leather I needed. I found the diamonds I needed. Look at this. We have some room now. And uh, the reason I needed the leather is that we are going to be making something called a hang glider. Now, the whole reason we have the jungle tree over there is to use this hang glider to the fullest. And in order to make this, we need something called treated leather. And this is very simple. It's just uh, lime, flint, leather and water. We've already done with the leather part. I only need 12 of these actually. And for the lime, I went to look for some magical flowers because there's no desert anywhere nearby. In order to get this into what we want, uh, I'm actually going to need six of you, I think. We're going to need a mortar and pestle. And luckily, that's just a normal recipe, so nothing too big there. So let us quickly do this. And... Uh, I will make some treat leather. We will also need some sticks. Uh, wood. More wood, why not? And uh, that's not how you make a ball. Is it uh, this one then? Yeah, there we go. 
and there's a pestle and mortar. So first of all, into petals and petals into powder. Now we have all of that and we have a new tool to keep with us. The reason why I have my tools like that with me is because I tend to need the tools from time to time. Even if I don't need them when I'm adventuring, I'm too lazy to actually get rid of them during that time. So just try to keep everything with me and if I happen to lose all my stuff, well, I might just rage quit. Not just kidding. Things happen, but we are gonna need this thing. And for that, I'm gonna need the leather, the powder, we're gonna need some flint. That's only six. I'm not sure if I need 12 or one flint. So for now, we'll see by doing just some of this. If it actually spends the flint, then uh, we'll just get some more. And uh, I do have buckets. No worries there. So let's see. Yes, it does even use the flint, so I'm gonna have to break some gravel. There we go! We have all the flint now. So let's go and put them over here. And I'm gonna have to repeat this one um, 11 more times. And there we go! We have a lovely amount of 12 treated leather. And in order to make this, it's very simple. There we go, two glider wings. And combine them with a stick and we have a hand glider. Now this is a very interesting item. Uh, before I can actually show you what it does, we need to go up. And I'll just have a torch here, just in case. No need for any surprises. So yeah, now we are all set for adventuring. Every time we need to go somewhere, we start from here, just look at this view, and there's the town we pillaged in the very first day. There's a lovely pink tree. Look at all of that. There is one of those uh, straw houses. It might be the one I pillaged off camera. And uh, yeah, if we could start from up there though. I might one day make this tree into something. But for now, we have our launch pad platform here. We're gonna be launching off from here. So yeah, before we do that though, let's go back down for a while. We No fall damage. Haha! -ha. I just love the hand glider. And we're gonna empty everything extra we have, and then we're gonna go BRB. Alrighty, we are ready to go now. I also made myself some armor. I already have boots, but I actually made a second pet because I forgot about it. So, I even updated all of my tools to Alumite. And iron is not that strong right now. You can see, I don't have that much armor apparently. But, it's the best we got. I could make better armor if I wanted to check on the Divine RPG ingots and stuff. But we don't really have too much of those yet. So yeah. We should make the compass in order to make this easier, but... Nah, I'm gonna skip that part. We're gonna go for an adventure, we're gonna loot cities, towns, and see what we can find. But before we do that... There is a little something I need to do by claiming my area. This is gonna take a few clicks here. Basically what this allows me to do is to chunk load the area. And that means uh, my farm will be completely ready when we come back. That's pretty much all I wanted to do with that. Everything will be harvestable when we are back. So yeah. Let's get up and jump away. Now, which direction shall we go? According to the map, we might want to go up north. This is a very hilly area in the south. I know I see a town there that we could loot. 
but I think I might see a meteorite right over here. So we're just gonna fly across there. If it is a meteorite, we'll land there. If it's not, well, then we won't. And as you can see, we are gaining quite a lot of distance here. And I'm going the wrong direction, ain't I? Yes, yes I am. Perfect start. So, it is a meteorite, so it's fine. We're gonna be landing right here. There's also one of those pillars there. Hopefully it doesn't summon anything. There we go. Our first target. Now, it's around the middle of this. I should have started from the top. That's a lot easier. Just do that then. We'll go to the top of this meteorite by making stairs, I guess. And uh, yeah. I'll get back to you once we are in the middle of this thing. Hello. Why are you here? You're like miles away from your town. Ah, he's gone. Okay. Wow, I'm not finding it though. I'm usually pretty good at finding these things. Uh, is it still lower? Can't be this low, right? Yeah, we're already here. So I'm just gonna have to do this now. Oh look, <laughs> that's our original hole there. Maybe there is no chest? That shouldn't be possible actually. There's always a chest. I'm already past a stack of this stuff because I can't find the thing. Have I pow? Ow. Have I gone past it like it's literally visible if I just look the right direction? Like... You gotta be kidding me. Ah. Uh, really? Could I have gotten that all this time? It was right there. Right? Ah. Uh, and it's only one! Well then, let's move on, I guess. Uh, we go north. I want to find the desert as well. Desert means that we're gonna be getting cactus. And we need cactus eventually. I managed to skip the need for cactus by finding those lily uh, lime flowers, but won't get that lucky all the time. And by the way, the hang glider is amazing, but just wanted to go fast. That's a huge rubber board tree there. So I'm gonna not pick too many of the mystical flowers. If I find white ones and brown ones, those I'm gonna take for sure. Dogs! Don't have any bones though. Oh, server pack-ups are on, apparently. That's good to know. Up. Jump from tree to tree. Save so much time. Hello, volcano. Hey, we found the ocean. What the heck is that? 
Is that a crocodile? I think that's a crocodile. There are holes in the water. What? And this is just a beast. What? What are you? Red spiders? Beat spiders? Or maybe they're crabs. They are marked as enemies though, so I need to be careful. I'm interested. What do you do? Hello? Hello? Maybe you're actually not evil? Hello? They're crabs! And they're not evil! Oh, they're like marbles dropping into the floor. <laughs> also, they don't have a shell on them. Completely naked. It's naked party. Oh, that's a big one. Isn't that like a much bigger than the others? Or is this like a mother crab? Are you evil? Hi? Ah. Guess not. Home is that way. We don't want to go home. There is a city. We found a place. I'm loving the hang glider. Traveling without one is mm. always annoying. But every server, every mod pack, I can get one. I'm so happy. Oh, and there's loot immediately. Hello. I'm here to steal. Don't mind me. Also, furnaces are really annoying to make. Just gonna get those. Okay, what do we get? Thomium ingots. Dark steel! Hey, one more dark steel and I'll just get myself um, the thing in one go. You can just make the meteorite compass. That's a castle. Oh, there's the board books. I'll take books. Also, I'm taking those. And uh, just give me everything. Fine. I'll sort out what I need and what is useless when we get back. They have smeltery. I'm taking this. Make mine bigger. They're fighting something. Don't tell me they're shooting the cows. Those satanic cows. We need to be wary of them. They could strike at any second. I wonder if Apicel Graphics is actually in this mod pack. That one uh, actually adds uh, Apicel versions of all animals. Oh no, wasn't that like a 1.12 thing? It's a spooky mod. They sound so wrong as well. And when they attack you, you fight back and suddenly they turn evil, pure devils. I love them. So cute. Do they not have any more loot boxes? Loot boxes. Oh no, loot boxes are invading! Take the chest though. I think we're done here. This was an empty city. Very empty. Oh, hello. What have we here? These are the Primus flowers. So oh, yeah. You cannot take these with you, but they will never wither. So if I wanted to make a Botania area here, we would get free mana. But this is kind of, let's see, far away. Oh, there's a loot chest over there. I came here to just get some snow, that's pretty much it, and we are finding all these lovely things. Snow is one thing that you do need a little bit of, so I'm most likely gonna be making a snow golem for farming snow eventually. So just uh, get a little bit of snow, Ah, I think that's fine. 
a few blocks there. And now let's check the loot. These have wisp spawners on them. And if I can make myself a wisp spawner later, that's gonna be good. Come on, break the tile. There we go. And what do we have? Oh, wow, the amount of magical chalk. Hey, upgrades. Dark boots, you say? Even has uh, things on it. Ain't this better than what I have? Yeah, they're basically better. Put all of these off, sleep through the night, and then we move on. You want to sleep on that? How's this? Thank you! Is that a lot of ore that I see over the distance? It's a big slime. Hello. I'll take this. Some surface loot. I already went through all of our gold anyways once, so replenishing is good. That's a lot of gold. That is a lot of gold. And I'm completely fine with it. Okay, moving on. Hello, Silverwood Tree. Whenever we end up starting Thumbcraft, this is gonna be an important one to have. So I'm just gonna be taking this. Didn't we have a. Oh, heck yeah. It had a pure node in it. Well, we have a sapling now too. Of this. I forgot that we actually have a vein miner. Haha. <laughs> we found another village, I think. There are buildings up ahead. Also, I don't think those are evil pumpkins. Those are actual pumpkins, are they? Except for that one. That's an evil one. Oh, the white flowers! Oh, goody goody. Give it here. Give it here. Okay. With these, the requirements to start Botania has been met. I'll take the pink ones as well, why not? I did say that I won't take flowers that I don't really need at the beginning. I changed my mind. Oh. Hello, spooky loot area. Just uh, light them up. And this place is ours. Also, I actually do want this. So just break them away. And uh, push them away. Now, what is our reward for doing this? These are so loud. We get... Nether Quartz is good, actually. All the upgrades. I think we're getting quests done with those. <laughs> Free quest items. Hooray! Hello, I came to loot and steal and stuff. And they welcome me with open arms. They don't mind, they have too much stuff anyways. First of all, I'm gonna break their windows and steal their books. It's my knowledge now. And they're like, stay a while and listen. Hey, look, there's a cactus. Give me that. We can start our cactus emporium with that. Fire protection puppet! Is this a witchery house? I mean the guards and the walls are all from the witchery mod. Did not expect to find any of that stuff here though. Hmm. 
I think... Who are you? Librarian? Alrighty. Give me that. Ah. That's a lovely village there. Thank you very much. Moving on. And there's actually another one of these silverwood trees that I'm just gonna pick up with me. Mm. No. Two next to each other? Even one is rare, but two? Whoa! Give me these trees. Thank you very much, and give me these leaves. Hey, a sapling! Hooray! This must be my lucky day. Oh, nice! I love this. They just make you high. Ooh. Give me that. Is this a magic? This is a magical forest. Well, no wonder then. Also, freaking poison spider. Get rid of the spawner. Thank you. We found a loot chest. Let's see. Ender lilies. Ethereal blooms. Ender pear. Oh, oh nether what? What is this? Such good luck. I actually need to throw something away at this point. Don't need gravel. Don't need moity smelting. That one I could just get rid of. Anything else I could put away? Well, now we have some room. So let me get all of these lovely things here. Take the bread as well. Okay. But this, this does not give us the things we actually need. I actually need to mark this place up. We are gonna most likely need those mana beans. I just remembered that. Hello, house. What do you have? Hello, witch. Really? I'll take the apples. You can keep the rest. I'm picky now. Uh, Coven Witch. We're gonna need this guy as well eventually. When we get to Witchery. Look at this view. Are those whales? Crocodiles and whales. Uh, that's all ocean, I think. <laughs> I kinda wanna just go that way, but that's most likely gonna kill me, so I'm just gonna go this way. And I want you to see how fun it is to fly around here. If I was to hold uh, shift down, I would go even faster, but then I would lose altitude way faster as well. So we're kinda just gonna be floating here safely above everything. Enjoying the view. Looking for that loot. Sweet, sweet loot. This is just the best way to travel. When you combine this with a jetpack, you will never touch the ground unless you run out of gasoline, electricity, whatever you wanna use. So yeah, I'm gonna head back to home. If nothing interesting gets ahead, we are almost there anyway, so yeah, nothing interesting is gonna happen. So I'll meet you back home. Bye! And we are back. Welcome home! That was quite a successful adventure though. We found quite a lot of things and uh, not enough things at the same time, which is a bit frustrating, yeah. But we found some amazing things. Some very amazing things. And uh, I'm gonna empty everything I have and uh, then we're gonna plan on what to do next. There we go. I managed to get everything sorted out. There's only our tools left and these two things. 
and a few other things that I'm gonna be checking out after I kill this spider and reclaim our base. That was painful. Ow! Stop it! Give me that pumpkin. And I am gonna need to get these cactuses started as well. Cacti. So just put that there and we will eventually have some more. Now, our flower box is completely full as well. Can't put anything else in there. So we're gonna have to actually sort that out as well. I really wish I had an ME system already. But we only have one and we don't have enough dark still either. So let's see. We managed to do two of these just by walking around. So that's nice. Give streams and a framing table. Oh yeah, we can, uh, there's even more of these things you can get, through a controller even. So yeah, basically we can only make these normal ones like this, but if we make a framing table, we can just use any kind of blocks we want to make our drawers. And uh, at the first place I might use drawers alongside with the ME system, but we are not there yet. And we even have one more exploration quest here. Oh, this one. When I went underground, I actually managed to do this one. This one we should actually have already. It takes three of those to open the runic dungeons, and that place is scary. But it's also an amazing place for loot. So let's just uh, get this one done. There we go. As we don't need that reward yet, I'm just not going to claim it. And yeah, I think that was it for uh, this little exploration episode. Outside the episodes, I'm gonna be checking out uh, a few things on what to do and uh, preparing uh, information mainly. So yeah, next time we are going to be doing machines. So I'm gonna try and make basic energy. We are gonna go for machine frames. It will actually unlock stuff for us. And uh, our aim is this one. The alloy smelter. With this one we can finally get our own dark steel and then we can make the meteorite compass. Then we can go and finally get those uh, inscribers we need. And then we have an ME system. So this is the ultimate goal for now. And this is what we are aiming for. Thank you for watching, and uh, I shall see you again next time. Bye!